In this video, I'm going to show how to download the bank marketing data set from the UCI machine learning repository because we'll be using this data set to demonstrate a lot of useful Unix commands and one-liners for wrangling data. Before I begin, we need a place to save the data set, so I'm going to open terminal and I already have a workspace folder uh, and within it I'm going to create a new folder called training. Uh, in which I'll be able to save the, the bank marketing data set file. So now that we've created this new folder, I'll show two different ways to download and install a data set. The first is you know, uh, clicking through the website to download. So within once you reach the website, you can click data folder and you can see that there are two zip files. We need the first one, so you can click on the file to download it. When you download it, it's downloaded into your uh, downloads folder. And if you go into your downloads folder and, and click on the zip file, it'll open up. And when you look inside the bank additional file, what we're going to be using is the bank additional full.csv. And you can look at the other files uh, and, and the website for the, the bank folder uh, to learn more about this data set. But we need the bank additional full.csv data set. So, one way to move it there is go back to terminal and to say copy from users downloads bank the bank additional full to users workspace training. Once you've done that, since we're in this uh, workspace folder, we can look in the training folder and you'll see that we have our CSV file. Now, I'd like to uh, demonstrate another way to get the data set using a, a terminal built-in, curl. So we can move into the training folder since that's where we want to uh, save the data set. Now clear the screen for this new command. What we'll be doing is running a series of commands to download uh, this file. So I've put it on the screen. The first command is curl, which is a, a built-in that uh, goes to a website and downloads uh, information for you. And it has a number of arguments that you can supply. Uh, dash O, capital O, means take the end of the URL, bankadditional.zip, and use that as the file name that you download. The dash capital L says, if this location, if this URL uh, has changed or moved, go on to that new location and download the file from that new location. And then dash small s uh, says, do this silently, uh, otherwise curl prints out some information about the download, uh, but I don't want that done. Now, after we download bankadditional.zip, that's a zip folder that we've already looked at. We need to unzip it. So now we use the command unzip, and we're going to do dash Q for quietly to unzip the zip folder. Now, once we do that, we have this bankadditional folder that has those three files in it, as we saw in our finder. And we only need this one. So let's copy from inside this folder this uh, file that we need, bankadditional.full, and save it in dot in the current directory, in the current folder that we've moved into, which is our training folder. And then uh, many other uh, folders and files were uh, downloaded in, into this folder, and we don't need all of them. We just want our one CSV file. So the last three commands remove these additional files and folders that were downloaded. So we remove this uh, folder using minus R recursive to download the fold, remove the folder, bank additional. We remove the zip file, and then we remove, for some reason, there's an underscore underscore Mac OS X folder that's also uh, downloaded, so I removed that too. So when we run this command, and again, look in training, we see that once again, we have our bank additional full.csv file. And this is the file that we're gonna be using in future videos to do additional Unix commands and one-liners to manipulate and uh, act on the data.